Bangladesh's incoming caretaker leader has appealed for calm as he travels home to face a country in crisis. Mohammed Yunus is urging protesters to stay peaceful and positive after weeks of unrest that ended with the ouster of the nation's longtime prime minister. Yunus is due to be sworn in on Thursday. Mohamed Yunus was all smiles when he arrived at the airport in Paris. I'm looking forward to going back home and uh, see what's happening there and how we can organize ourselves to get out of the trouble that we are in. He was heading back to Bangladesh to the aftermath of a violent crackdown on student-led protests that saw Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina step down as leader and flee the country to India on Monday. Yunus is one of Hasina's prominent adversaries. And the man the students want to now replace her. We think Dr Muhammad Yunus is the greatest Bangladeshi person in this current era. So we, the students, the revolutionary students, uh, announced and uh, proposed his name for the chief of interim government. And uh, uh, we heard uh, that uh, he, he's, he will coming tomorrow and we will uh, warmly, cordially accept him. And we believe that uh, he, will, uh, he will make sure and he will uh, support the student people of this uh, country to rebuild this nation. We are expecting that he will fulfill the demands of the students which are at the nine point agenda, such as the killers of our brothers. They must be closed from duties. The security officials who are involved in these killings and uh, uh, tortures against students. Yunus has been approved by the president to be sworn in as a caretaker leader. The 84-year-old economist and his Grameen Bank won the Nobel Peace Prize in 2006 with a microfinancing project that is credited with lifting millions of Bangladeshis out of poverty. Known as the banker to the poorest of the poor, he faced severe backlash from Hasina's regime, which accused him of exploitation and hit him with over 100 criminal charges, all of which he denies. In a written statement, Yunus called the end of Hasina's government our second victory day and appealed for calm after weeks of unrest. Yunus will cut his teeth in politics by filling a large power vacuum in Bangladesh. It is still not sure who else will make up the interim government and how long it will last. Amir Khosrow. Mohammed Chowdhury is a standing committee member of Bangladesh's main opposition party, the Bangladesh National Party, or the BMP. Earlier, we asked him whether he thinks fundamental democratic change in the country is possible. We all want to have a fundamental democratic process in the Bangladesh. And that is what we have been missing for the last 15 years. The restoration of democracy, creating a level playing field, and democratic values, the constitutional values, the, the democratic values are very, very important for a nation to have a proper and, uh, and acceptable democracy. This is what we all want. At the end of the day, what democracy means is what, what is representing the people of the country. And it is the peoples are the owners, they are the owner of the, of the country. And so this ownership has to go back to them. That's the whole idea. You know, once the ownership goes to the citizens, it is up to them to de decide which party to vote, who to represent them uh, in the parliament, in the government. So we have to respect their verdict at the end of the day. And I feel that BNP is the most popular party it has been in the past. And with the free and fair election, and I think we have a fair chance of winning the election. Nusrat Nimi is a student activist at Bangladesh's Chittagong University. She took part in the protests that we've been seeing 
in the past few weeks. News Front, it's good to see you again. You know, we just heard there from a member of the BNP saying that the BNP is the most popular party in Bangladesh at the moment. Is it? You know, uh, given the situation that there is absence of political parties right now, so they are the only party visible now. So they can say that I'm the best. Anyone can say I'm the best, but it's about work, not about saying I'm the best. So uh, I don't think that uh, it's time to say which one is best, which one is better. Their work will uh, speak for them. The BMP and the Awami League, the Awami League, of course, is the party of the former Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina. They have been the two parties which have you know, ruled Bangladesh back and forth with only a few breaks since 1991. I mean, can the BNP, can it really bring the change now that, that students such as yourself are calling for? You know, uh, after the incident happened, after Sheikh Hasina stepped down, uh, almost thousands of uh, uh, people, uh, uh, leader of BNP was uh, out of prison and also uh, out of house arrest also. So after they're out, we are uh, we are hearing news about violence. We are hearing news about fear of the minority people. Uh, many of them leaving the, their houses and their uh, properties are attacked and also we don't actually know at this moment who are doing those activities and what is the role BNP is play, playing to save those people as they are saying that uh, they are the best uh, mm -hmm. political party right now. So uh, I think they should work. They should work now. And also, uh, I think BNP and Aumi League, both the parties uh, are derived from uh, people founded by people who have something to do with the foundation of Bangladesh and so they have kind of a superiority complex they have to get out from that part and again uh, they have to practice the democratic value themselves not only saying about I will do it I can do it so uh, it's about action it's about system not about the person and I, I do think it's interesting that the the student movement wanted, called for Mohammed Yunus to become the head of an interim government, and that is exactly what is about um, to happen. Someone who does not live in Bangladesh at the moment, he's coming home. Why do you think he is the best fit? You see, I told you earlier that uh, the, the parties we see in the picture, they derive from family. They have something to do with the person. They follow the person who is kind of uh, uh, the chairperson of their party. They follow that person. But, you know, you know when it's about democracy, it's about the, uh, the practicing uh, the, the rights and uh, about our, uh, our uh, what do I say, our right. Okay? So... We haven't got that. Neither of the parties served us well in their regime. And why, Dr. Yunus, why we prefer him? Because he is uh, a person who is not from that kind of family, you know, mm -hmm. that kind of structure. And also, our country is suffering greatly for the past decades, uh, financially and also culturally. And I think that uh, Dr. Yunus has the experience to serve us well in the field of economy and our country can get better. So we trust him uh, because of that reason. Okay, Bangladeshi student activist Nusrat Nimi. Nusrat, we appreciate you taking the time to talk with us today. Thank you.